Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be testing some silver jewellery and a couple of pieces of gold with a rare earth magnet. I picked this lot up from a car boot sale last week for £50. I'm quite happy with my purchase. I've checked it out already. Um, some of it's real, some of it's fake. I could tell at the car boot sale that a couple of pieces were more than likely to be fake. Um, such as this piece here, um, also this piece and this piece, they all looked pretty tacky to me. Um, some of them I wasn't too sure about, such as this gold bracelet. If this was real, it would be a thousand pounds worth of gold. And also this gold earring here. If this was also real, that would be about 40, 50 pounds worth of gold. So for £50, I took a punt on it and I bought the lot. So here we go. We're going to test it. Basically, these rare, rare earth magnets that you see here, it's just this little tiny magnet in the corner there. I tend to leave them in the bag so you don't lose them. And they'll, they'll work just as well inside the bag. So it's not, no point taking it out. So this one here, first of all, we'll start with this bracelet. This one here is, it is Hallmark 925. It's a nice solid man's bracelet. I've tested this one. It's, it is silver 925 and the bracelet is probably worth 50 pounds, 40 pounds on its own. Um, you simply get the magnet and tap it against it. If the magnet sticks at all, then you've got fake silver basically. This is all good, this one. So I'll move that one to one side. There is this little ring that came as well. It looks like it's been handmade. It's terribly made, It's but it is silver. It doesn't stick. It's good to go. I'll be melting that down and that'll be returned into a new bracelet, a new ring or something else. If we go to this piece here, this small earring, um just get it in the camera here it's silver but the end as you can see it sticks to it so this here i'm gonna have to cut this off now it's always handy if you're buying and selling silver to have a set of pliers that you can cut it off with and just simply chop it off and then that's good to be melted down and sold on as um, scrap silver or made into another piece of jewellery. So this will be getting thrown away, the pin, and this piece will be getting kept. So I'll put that in my scrap pile, ready to go, to be melted down. This this thing here, this actually looks fake to me. It's, it's just too shiny, the way it is. It's pretty shiny so if you get the magnet on it you can test it and see now you can see it's starting to lift on the on the hook there so the hook's definitely fake there's no doubt about that as for the actual lady you can see it's kind of sticking a little bit but not a great deal but that's enough just that little bit where it sticks there is enough to say that that's fake that's a base metal with sprayed paint spray painted silver basically it might have a small quantity of silver so that'll be getting thrown in the bin this little man here quite nice you can see it's well made. It's got a slightly different tone to it. If you look, you can see it's a lot duller than this one. Just by looking at it with a bit of experience, you can tell it's more than likely going to be silver. Run the magnet over it. It's not sticking at all. Even the, even the end hook to put onto a chain 
isn't sticking. That's good quality 925 silver. So I'll put that over there and move on to the next one. Here that we'll try this ring here. Now this ring here, I would say it was silver without even testing it. It's actually spoon, a spoon silver ring. It's it's a spoon that's been cut off and bent round into to make a silver ring. Quite a lot of these knocking around. It's more than likely going to be silver. Touch it on it. It's not sticking at all. It's it's silver nine two five. So that's good. Let's test these three rings here. See where we get with these. These, these are all silver as well. This one is quite a nice ring. It's actually hallmarked inside as well, which is good. I don't know if you can see the hallmark there, but it is hallmarked. 925. So that one's okay. This one's okay. This one's also hallmarked. I don't know if you can see Yep, There you go. And this one was also hallmarked. This here, little silver donkey. That's pretty nice as well. Lots of people who collect donkeys are probably resell this on eBay. The jewellery, I'll take it to Madagascar where I live and either sell it or melt it down to make new jewellery. Let's see this here. This one, look at this. This one's this one's sticking. This isn't silver. Now it looks like silver and it even has a a buttery feel to it, like silver. But the rare earth magnet doesn't lie. And if it's gonna be picked up like that, it's not silver. It's silver plated that. It's got silver content to it, but it's not silver. So that'll go in the rubbish pile along with the other two bits. This bracelet here, I mean this this is just it just doesn't it just looks too shiny. Doesn't have a buttery feel. It's got no hallmarks to it. It's it's fake. Touch it against it. And you can I can feel the actual magnet wanting to stick to it. See that? So that's fake which is a shame because that's pretty heavy and as a bracelet it'd be worth good money if it was silver. This one here, another bracelet, Mark 925. Doesn't feel like silver to me. And if you pull it like this, it should bend very easily and I'm pushing quite hard there and it's not wanting to bend which tells me that it's not silver if we touch it with this we'll find out yeah you can I can feel it wanting to stick to it it is not silver it's fake so that's another one that's fake, which leaves us with these. Nice little cufflink. Now this is a silver cufflink. This doesn't stick to it very much, apart from on this bit here, where it sticks to it lots and lots. So unfortunately, although this bit here is silver, this bit's not. Sometimes they have a pin in, inside for the mechanism here which won't be silver but this this um even this end here it just sticks to it look so that's fake that'll be gone in the bin 
this one here it it doesn't even look silver it's doesn't feel like silver it doesn't look like silver if we can open it up one second I'll just open it that one definitely is not silver you can tell on the inside of it see how rough it is it's just very very cheap base metal it probably it's not probably not even silver plated at all like it's just fake completely fake so that's rubbish this one here this one looks like a silver ring feels like a silver ring I don't know whether it's hallmarked at all there's no hallmark on it but we can test it with the rare earth metal magnet and this one here it's not sticking at all it's it's silver got this bracelet here this one's got no markings on it either it's not marked 925 but if we test it it doesn't stick at all so that's looking pretty good you can do another test by giving it a squeeze see if it'll bend and as you can see this one bends nice and easy so that's silver this little thing here there's lots of these like lots of these knocking around this one is um it's even tall marked silver on the back if i just show you here yeah. if i can there you go tall marked silver it's got a nice lion's head and i touch it against it and um that one's coming back as silver so we're doing all right this one here is tiffany and co 925 that one's real i don't even need to check it really it's worth a lot of money as well considering compared to what I paid for it anyway touch it against it it's not sticking got a nice Tiffany piece there another 925 Tiffany and Co ring hallmarked on the inside 1997 it was made Tiffany and Co that one isn't 100% real doesn't stick to it it's perfect it's actually probably worth as it is even though it's a little bit scratched it's probably worth close to a hundred pounds on its own last one here is an old um, silver bracelet I don't know whether there's any oh there's a hallmark just in there let's see if we can get it in focus there you go it says 925 so it's stamped which is good and um, if I just check it check it with a magnet it's fine that one's good that one's silver as well which just leaves these two gold pieces to check if I just move it around here this one here is hallmarked 750 but unfortunately I've already checked this one it would be a thousand pounds if it was real this is a fake costume jewelry piece it's the magnet sticks as you can see it wants to stick to it that's a shame because if it was real I would have just profited an absolute fortune but instead it's costume jewellery 
rubbish. The last piece is hallmarked 18 karat. It's hard to make it out with it being so small. But I have tested this and it is a real 18 karat gold earring. It's um it's obviously as you can see the magnet doesn't stick to it. It's worth about fifty pounds on its own. So I've done pretty good. The best pieces have to be the two Tiffany pieces, the gold earring, this bracelet, a little donkey, these two pieces here. This ring's quite nice. So is this ring, as though it's very small. This ring's quite nice. And this little man here, along with this one here. The rest of it, I am likely to melt these bits here. I'm gonna melt those ones down there. And this lot here, I'll, I'll resell it as costume jewellery, but it's pretty worthless, the lot of it. But for £50, for all that, I'm pretty happy. And it was nice and easy to check. I didn't have to take it to the jewellers. I just literally bought a rare earth magnet from eBay for about three pounds i think it was i bought it a long time ago so i'm not certain of the price um just while i'm here i'll just give you a look at some of the other stuff i use i do use eyeglasses these are the three i've got this is the main one i use this one's brilliant because it's so powerful it's got a, it's got a light as well so it just lights everything up so you can really see the hallmarks and stuff like that. Um, if I just turn it on here, you can see the light on it. Zoom it in and you can literally see everything on the ring. You see it all nice and close, nice close up detail. See if it, how scratched it is, if it's any, if there's any damaged, but it also, it's mainly for the hallmarks. For small hallmarks, you can check out, which is which is great. This one here has got a small hallmark, which is hard to see, but if you put the eyeglass on it, it's quite easy to see it. Then I don't know if you can see there. There you go. You can make it out. It says nine two five on it. So there you go. The other things I I use on a regular basis is just a pair of normal pinches which are handy for cutting off um, little bits of hooks that aren't silver or things like this if I wanted to just take this hook this hook here as as you can see it's it's opened up a bit so you can you can mess around with it you can open it up you can add it onto a necklace close it back up and then maybe sell that on a, on a little necklace or a little bracelet Put it back on eBay. Happy days. There you go. So that's it. that's pretty much everything. The only other thing I've got got is a ring sizer. Because well, obviously, if you're reselling rings on eBay, you want to be able to tell people exactly what size the ring is. So these are handy to have, and they're only a couple of pounds to buy. So I'd advise buying that. Also, buy yourself a set of digital scales with 0.1 to 100 gram. Um, probably around 10 12 pounds i've got a wire brush just for cleaning up dirty silver which is handy and that's pretty much all i need to buy and sell ebay silver jewelry back on the market there you go hope you enjoyed bye bye